Hey everybody, this is another edition of TJ's Garage. Uh, today we're going to be doing a couple upgrades on a 2008 uh, Ultra Classic Harley Davidson and a 2015 uh, Street Glide. Basically all we're doing is replacing antennas. We're getting rid of the old ugly whips, dog ears, and we're going to place them, replace them with the stubbies. Okay? This is aftermarket. Most Harleys come with the longer whips on there and they're pretty ugly. The newer ones are wire, they're pretty rigid. Uh, these are aftermarket, but I went with the stubby, it improves the look. The reception's fantastic. Um, these are made by Craven Speed out of Portland, Oregon. I got them on Amazon, they're 25 bucks a piece. Now they don't differentiate between the CB portion of uh, the CB antenna and the radio antenna. Um, I don't use the CB or the weather band, so it really doesn't matter to me. So I just got two. Uh, if you could tell, I mean, it looks fantastic. Uh, reception's great. I have no problems with them. Uh, it's a nice addition. Plus, when I put my cover on, you know, it's got the, usually for the larger bikes, it has the Velcro strip. You don't have to deal with that anymore. Just throw your cover on, great reception, great replacement. Um, so on the 2015 Ultra Classic, I mean, uh, sorry, Street Glide, I bought one. And uh, they're, they're universal. They go on just about every bike. So I bought one. I took the grommet out. Okay. I'm going to put this on this bike. Now, in case you didn't notice, this has got the King Tour Pack on it. Uh, that's an addition I put on there. That was painted by CPV out of Racine, Wisconsin. They color matched it dead on with the factory pinstripe. Uh, I did a video on that in the past. And that's a quick release tour pack. So every time I put the tour pack on, I got to remove the antenna. Well, now I don't have to do that anymore. And if you come around the front here, we also did a video in the past on the front air dams uh, by Advan Black. I did a video on that, on how to install them, and a couple little improvements with nuts and bolts to keep them really tight. And these things have worked out perfect. And the color match is dead on, in case you, can, in case you can't tell. And I uh, haven't had any problems with that. So. Um, right now, I'm going to put the stubby, once again, it's called the stubby, made by Craven Speed out of Portland, Oregon. Now, I'm not a rep for them. I'm just telling you what I found on Amazon. i um, not getting paid for this, but I did find they're a great addition to my bike. Uh, they look fantastic, great reception, and it eliminates a lot of problems. Like I said, adding the tour pack, uh, having that long whip on the back. And a lot of guys are going with the fairing mounted internal antennas. Uh, there hasn't been great reviews on that. Uh, this antenna seems to work fine. Um, when I get done, I can't really show you how good the reception is because I am out in the country right now. And um, you really don't get any reception out here. You're lucky if you get cell service. So, took the grommet out. There it is. There's your stubby antenna by Craven Speed. Put your grommet back on. And you're ready to go. You don't have to deal with those whips anymore. That's it. Fits perfect. Threads right on. Looks great. You can still maintain your radio reception. So that's really about it for today. Um, next video we're going to do possibly is uh, got a Kubota BX25D, uh, three cylinder diesel. We're going to show you how that works. There's, there's a ton of videos out there. We got some projects in the back we're going to work on with that. And then we're going to do an LED setup. We're going to kind of pimp out the golf cart. Uh, we're going to use Type S LED kits, which is made by AutoZone. Um, Farm and Fleet sells their brand. We're going to be using Type S. I'll show you how that works. And then we're possibly going to do some videos on the Polaris 900 HO and the 570. All right, and that's about it for today. Thanks for tuning in.